So let, let's dive a little bit more into cardiovascular disease because cardiovascular disease affects so much of the diabetes population in particular. Yeah. And given that you have a background in cardiology, maybe could we start by, could you explain to listeners why are diabetes and heart disease so closely linked? In other words, why should people living with any form of diabetes care and pay close attention to their cardiovascular health? Yeah, good question. You know, it's all interconnected. Uh, people with diabetes tend to have associated metabolic syndrome. So they tend to have problems with higher triglycerides, with lower HDL, the good cholesterol. They tend to have higher blood pressure, not in every patient. They tend to be uh, overweight. So, you know, this, this idea of metabolic syndrome, if you will, insulin resistance, blood pressure problems, dyslipidemia, abnormal lipid profile, overweight, that those things cluster. I, I cannot tell you how many patients I have seen where I was seeing them for their atherosclerotic disease. I was seeing them for their vascular disease, their heart attack or their stroke, something's wrong. There's cholesterol buildup in their blood vessels. And I felt like I needed a stamp, you know, to say with coincident obesity, diabetes, dyslipidemia, hypertension, just all the time. And, and as a lot of your listeners will know, there are both microvascular, small blood vessel and macrovascular, larger blood vessel problems in people who have high levels of circulating glucose. It damages the lining of the blood vessels, the endothelium, the single cell layer thick lining of all your blood vessels. And so it causes microvascular complications, things like, uh, uh, diabetic kidney disease, end-stage renal disease, need for dialysis, uh, nerve damage. We call that neuropathy. You see a lot of diabetics with uh, amputated limbs from damaged nerves that resulted in uh, wounds that they didn't know on their feet. Uh, they couldn't heal them properly because the blood to that wound was, was disrupted, the blood flow, and they didn't heal it properly, and it had to be ultimately amputated causes uh, retinopathy, damage to the lining of the back of the eye, uh, leading cause of blindness in, in Western countries. But it also increases your risk for macrovascular disease, heart attack and stroke, which is, as most people know, is currently the number one cause of, of mortality in this country. I believe cancer will surpass that, frankly, in the next, maybe as, as soon as the next 10 years, it's right behind it. So it's, it's all interconnected, uh, but you know, if you when you take steps to improve your insulin sensitivity, decrease insulin resistance, you see other things sort of fall into place. You see the triglycerides come down, the fats in your bloodstream. You see the good cholesterol increase, the HDL increases. You see people lose excess body weight, particularly that visceral fat, the fat that's around the organs inside your abdomen, not the subcutaneous fat, the fat that's under the skin. Always reminds me of that pinch the inch, uh, whoever came up with that uh, uh, many years ago. So, you know, it's all it's all just interconnected. And, and that's what I love the most about lifestyle medicine. You know, you can come to this because you want to improve insulin sensitivity. You can come to this because you're trying to manage your blood pressure, trying to lose weight, trying to reduce your cardiovascular disease. But when you do one of those things it benefits all of those other things at the same time. And that, that to me is the beauty of the approach. It, it gets away from that. You need to take a pill for your blood sugar and maybe an, an injection for your blood sugar and two pills for your blood cholesterol and for your high, high blood pressure. And after a while, you know, you, leave, you came in the hospital with your cardiac event while no medications and you left with seven. And you think, you know, how am I going to, how am I going to do this? I mean, what are these things for? How am I going to pay for this? Am I going to be on these the rest of my life? Um, you don't really know which one's for what thing. You don't know which side effect you're having is rel related to which medication. And it's just very defeating. That, that energy of that is, is just a, it's a negative energy. It's, it's the opposite of empowerment. And with lifestyle medicine, what I, what I would routinely hear people say is, this is the best I've ever felt, which is not what I was hearing in my, you know, usual medical practice.